Dr. Teresa Larson. We are at CrossFit Del Mar today, up here in beautiful Del Mar Industrial Park. Um, I am here with special guest Alex Delacampa. He is a tactical athlete, um, an adaptive athlete. He's a coach with the Warrior Program here, um, and a good friend of mine. And we wanted to talk to you this week is all about tactical athletes and how to help them with their overhead positions. So I want him to, Alex, if you don't mind, um, I've trained with you quite a bit, and it'd be awesome to know, like, you know, for my Marine Corps days, I know holding weight overhead, like your weapons, um, your gear, you need shoulder stability. So tell me some of the activities you did in the service that required a lot of shoulder overhead shoulder stability. Uh, well, mainly the difference between uh, shoulder stability in the service and, and in, a, in a CrossFit gym type environment is... Uh, the dynamics of it. You are constantly moving, constantly communicating. Uh, you are not going to be in a nice, soft, padded floor. You're going to be moving on uneven terrain uh, with a lot of different type of equipment. Some will be solid pieces of, of you know, weaponry. Some will be uh, uneven gear. Some uh, will be heavy. Some will be light. Okay. So it's all about having that mobility to create uh, stability from the Okay. Yeah, no, I, um, you're more new uh, to getting out of the surface than I am, but I do remember, you know, being around, having to carry stuff, carrying logs overhead, or you uh, carrying boats overhead, and you're never just standing there. Well, sometimes you'll be static, it'll be static. Some, a lot of times you're moving, and it's dark, your eyes are closed, your eyes are open, you're looking left and right. It's never just perfectly 10 rounds of 10 overhead squats. It's never anything like that, right? So, but the thing about working in the gym, though, is that you can tell overhead position, do you have it or not? So, what we want to do today is kind of piece, to you, piece for you tactical athletes and those of you that are friends with them or those of you that want to go into the service and get prepared is that we're going to give you a protocol on how to help your overhead position with these things like holding weapons overhead, holding gear overhead, which is way more unstable for you, which creates more, forces your shoulder to work, um, climbing a rope, doing mass amounts of pull-ups, um, pulling your body, pulling your friends. So in the gym, it's nice when you get tired, you can take a break, but with, the, with these guys, they can't take a break because their life depends on it and so does their body. So they need to know, you need to know what good stable overhead position looks like and how to train it. Okay, so first and foremost, I always ask, do you have the biomechanics of overhead motion? So, Alex, if you don't mind putting your toes forward, feet shoulder width apart, good. Go ahead and bring your arms straight overhead. Can you get those elbows next to the ears, elbows locked out? So, Alex got a good brace spine. He is missing a little bit of end range in terms of external rotation. He already knows that. Go ahead and bring your arms down. He's worked on his mobility quite a bit. So, doesn't have end range abduction yet, getting elbows next to the ears, but he's working on it. So, biggest thing is, that's the goal for you guys. That's the goal to help save that extra tension on the shoulders. Does it mean if you don't have the bowel that you're going to get injured? No, it does not mean that. But it means there's extra stress on the tissue. The next thing is, can you bring your arms overhead and keep the elbows locked out? So bring the arms overhead. Now, if he was standing there and his elbows were slightly bent, you know, and he didn't know that, that would be more of a motor control issue. And what's that going to do to the shoulders? It's going to create kind of a dumping internal rotation effect, which is a, which those of you that follow Dr. Starrett and us on Mobility Wad, you'll know that that's an unstable position, that internal rotation. So go ahead and bring your arms overhead one more time. Biggest thing here is he doesn't get full range of motion, elbows up to ears, but what he can do is maintain that torsion, keep his midline stable, so no overextending or pooping dog position, and when he's holding weight overhead, he's gonna keep that rotation. So he doesn't wanna fall in like this. So, um, go ahead and bring up, thank you. So one thing I wanna help you guys with is, what we wanna help you guys with is practicing this. Not in the gym, uh, things you can do in the gym but that are going to facilitate that unstable, dynamic environment that you're going to see in the field. 
So the first progression would be kind of a closed chain dynamic exercise in the barbell. So Alex is gonna go ahead and pick up the barbell. He's gonna go ahead and bring the barbell overhead. So I'm gonna have him, that's a snatch position. I'm gonna bring his arms a little bit closer. Good, a little bit closer. Good, so this is kind of where his end range is in overhead mobility anyway. He's gonna stay tight and I'm gonna have him just walk. Walk around. Keeping that arm locked out, extra rotation in the shoulders. Now, what I can do now to make it a little more challenging is have, is have him look left and right. So go ahead and do that, Alex. So he's looking left and right. Go ahead and turn around, Alex. So now what he can do to make it another progression is I, close his eyes. Walk straight. Good. Go ahead and open your eyes. Good, go ahead and stop. So he's on pretty even terrain. You want to bump that up, go on grass, go on gravel and do that. Now, what he can do next if he's on this even terrain is go ahead and start doing lunges. Elbows locked out, tight midline, good. The biggest thing for him is to keep those elbows locked out. He's going to start to fatigue his shoulders once his elbows start to bend, okay? Now, um, all right. Here you go, take a rest. Come on over here. So, when are you ever just walking on flat terrain in the service? Not too often, right? You're, you're, you're stepping on logs, you're stepping over stuff, um, sometimes under. So, what we can do now is have him get in that overhead position again. Based on his range of motion, so he's going to keep his arms at this distance. Go ahead and close this. He's going to go ahead and do lunges onto the box. So step up. Go ahead and back down. Go ahead and step up. Back down. Step up. Back down. Step up. Back down. Now, what he's doing here is going to force him to stay stable through here. Go ahead and start Good. So the biggest thing with that, focusing on the lunging, it's great to be in a proper position, but that's not always going to be the case. Right. The point is, is that he's having to maintain midline stability, arms right. locked out, external rotation as he steps up. Would it be ideal if he loads his hips first? Yes, but that's not always ideal. That's not always what they're able to do. All out sprint as fast as you can go. So that is the next progression, barbell. So come on over here. One last note. I want me, I want we have a workout here. starting here. up those hips so. on those burpees. The next level of progression, um, what's the what's the thing you mentioned the sandbag they gotta do or here overhead? So they gotta hold the overhead squat position with gear overhead. Something that something that changes the form, right? Okay. Something that's not rigid. Alright, let's so, so let's see. Yeah. You were uh this is what they should make the officers do more often. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go and pull this overhead. Awkward?
walked out, he can go ahead and do the same thing he did with the barbell, walking around. Good, now the thing with him, gotta keep that elbow locked out, right? It's easy to want to bend the elbows, even myself. It's easy to want to bend it. But if you guys, lives depend on it, if you can maintain that shoulder joint stability, external rotation, flexion, stable spine, you're gonna save yourself fatiguing faster. You're gonna be more efficient when you have the range of motion. Um, next progression to that would be actually holding a barbell with one arm overhead and doing that same progression we talked about. So um, it's very, it's an honor to have him uh, today as a guest. Alex, thank you. We'll do this again. Every month we're gonna have a tactical athlete week where we work on the different archetypal positions and what kinds of things these, these exercises will help you with. So stay tuned, thank you. And we'll see you um, next week.